So the final race then of the Royal Ascot meeting is upon us. It's the Queen Alexandra Stakes. It's the longest race. And it's got a very small field. It's a two mile five furlong, 0 to 120 handicap at the top. We've got Never Sure for Craig Beckwith, San Jose Water, Vinnie Gerard, Validation, Joshua Sutherland, Highbury Ladybird, Graham Clutterbuck, and Immortality for Satyam. So it looks as though Darren Thompson is going to be the champion trainer, unless Craig Beckwith can take this. Away they go. And if they do, that'll be a. Bit of a surprise, Craig Beckwith being the top trainer. So it's Immortality that's gone on into the lead with Validation second. Uh, never sure third. In comes San Jose Water fourth and Highbury Ladybird at the back is fifth. So it's uh, maybe a bit of a shame to leave this race as the last race of the of the Ascot meeting. It's a bit of an anti climax after some of the others are two mile five furlong. But if you're one of the five trainers you will be looking at this and hoping to get a win all these trainers in this have had a win this week at the Ascot meeting Satyam had one Joshua Sutherland had just a one that's a bit of a surprise normally have more than that and a gap back to never short is Craig Beckwith who's had a blinding week with three winners already and then San Jose Water really Gerard surprisingly only had one winner as well and Graham Clutterbuck on the outside with Highbury Ladybird who had two winners on day one. So Immortality is in the lead from Validation second in a gap of about five lengths to Never Short in San Jose Water and then Highbury Ladybird is next. Immortality quite heavily bowling along in front past the big crowd waiting for the final race of the day and Leon's going to take you through the rest of the day three card including a couple of big grade ones, there's a grade one handicap and there's also the big one in America of course as well isn't there so it's Immortality in the lead then from Validation second and San Jose Water four or five links back in third then comes Never Sure and finally Highbury Ladybird at the back Two greys in the field of five. Definitely seen the winds spread about like never before, really, at all Ascot this week. Sixteen different trainers taking a winner, which is pretty good. And Immortality is in the lead, and that figure won't change because all of these have had one already. Sixteen trainers getting a win is pretty good out of 30 races, so. Maybe the SO7 game is levelling things up a little bit. We're not seeing quite the dominance that we did in SO6. But Immortality is in the lead from Validation in second. And San Jose Water back in third. And then Never Sure fourth. And Highbury Ladybird is the back marker. So they're in true Indian file then as they race down towards the final mile in the final race on the final day of. Royal Ascot, SO7 season 12, and Immortality is in the lead from Validation 2nd, San Jose Water 3rd, and Never Sure is 4th, and Highbury Ladybird 5th, so the order not changed at all. And Immortality is 6 furlongs to go, just being asked to quicken, uh, trying to stretch these, making a true test of stamina. Immortality in the lead by about two. To Validation, who seems to be going well in second. Then San Jose Water third. Never sure getting closer in fourth. And then Highbury Ladybird. There's four furlongs left to race then now. And Immortality is led all the way so far. Never sure is now second. Validation being pushed along then San Jose Water and Highbury Ladybird is starting to get closer. Takes a while to get going. That one is really starting to unravel now. It's 
Immortality in the leader from Never Sure in second. Then comes San Jose Water Validation and Highbury Ladybird. They're coming down towards the final two furlongs then. And now Never Sure comes through the challenge for the lead. Never Sure hits the front from Immortality second. San Jose Water's back in third. Highbury Ladybird running on Lysi now in fourth. Validation's beaten, but it's Never Sure in the lead. Never Sure from San Jose Water and Immortality. Highbury Ladybird, they've got a furlong to go. And it's Never Sure in the lead from San Jose Water and Highbury Ladybird. They're getting closer. The lead this time and San Jose Water hits the front here comes Highbury Ladybird on the outside San Jose Water from Highbury Ladybird Highbury Ladybird is getting closer with every stride San Jose Water is holding on though and takes it and San Jose Water wins it for Vinnie Gerard. I don't think Highbury Ladybird got close enough to claim a dead heat it was almost on the nod but San Jose Water takes it So, let's get a full listen of the final race at Royal Ascot this season. It's San Jose Water for Vinnie Gerard, the winner. Highbury Ladybird for Graham Clutterbuck was second. Never sure Craig Beck with third. Immortality, the long-time leader for Zayam, was fourth. And validation for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. So, that's the Royal Ascot meeting concluded then. So, a quick roll of honour for the trainers. I can tell you that the champion trainer with four wins was Darren Thompson. Then on three wins, we had David Robertson and Craig Beckwith and Leon van Rensburg and Martin Liedem and with two wins Padre Hogan, Graham Clutterbuck and Vinnie Gerard a whole host on one and so that's your Royal Ascot meeting then and I'll leave you with in the capable hands of Leon to take you through the rest of day three I think it's a week off next week and we'll be back after the mid-season break